There we go, perfect. Okay, I think I got it set up pretty nicely. I might have to adjust it later, but <laughs> kind of like rigged it up real quick just to make sure it's, you know, comfortable for the meantime. Shouldn't be too bad. Alright, let's go meet a Wastekid. Kind of just want to call Wiskit, because just will be a lot easier. Because, I mean, think about this. Wastekid, I don't know. <laughs> I want to say it phonetically in English and Russian and try to figure out which one is better, but it's just not going to work. Pardon, you wish to slay the Lord of Crags? We must slay him, Captain. The people of Olympus and Amitsa are depending upon us. Also, I absolutely love the music for this place. It's very tropical and very, like, relaxing. <laughs> hmm, you fancy yourselves heroes, then. Just like the inner tales? Be not so quick to judge. Long have I labored for the well-being of you and yours, and my associated here have bathed in Ifrit's hellfire and lived. She is blessed with the power that protects her from Prama's influence. Thus was she able to lay low lay low the Lord of the Inferno. We know full well the risks and have taken every possible precaution. We lack only the knowledge of how to enter Titan's lair. Pray be so good as to grant us the boon of your wisdom, and we shall be on our way. A woman who can be tampered. Useful, but it will not be enough. It is true that the company of heroes fought and fell at Primus, but each victory was brought with the lifeblood of brave men and women. And Titan's, and Titan was the worst we faced. Aye, we defeated him in the end, but took us some time of our very took us some time of our very best. Even if you possess the power, even if you possess the power you claim, I have no reason to believe you will succeed. Believe what you will. We mean to try. Though our lives be forfeit, we will not abandon Limsa to the wrath of Titan. You're passionate, I'll grant you that. And you deserve better than the greeting I gave you, but I will not send you into Ogromoro on a whim. To be plain, do not wish I do not wish to see uh, you give your lives in vain. At the very least, I must have assurances that you're more than common adventurers. I oversee security for Master Ge uh, Gegerushu's estates. Perhaps you can demonstrate your abilities by attending one of our... You gods, man, have you... Have you heard nothing? <laughs> Ye godsmen, have you heard nothing I have said? We have not the time to perform trivial tasks. The enemy is at the, enemy is at the gates. Why? Wow, you still is really pissed there. <laughs> do you imagine word? Do you imagine words can sway me, girl? If you dislike my condition, then you're welcome to find your own way into the Ogromoro. You still are gonna have to work with them for a bit. I know you're frustrated and everything. <sighs> Though it pains me to admit it, I feel we have no choice but to acquiesce to the man's demands. Uh, yet much remains to be done if we are best to best tighten. Forgive me, but I must ask you to undertake this task alone. I will use the time to see to the remaining preparations. Leave the dirty work to the others, are we? <laughs> Very well. Pray do not pray do, pray do whatever the good captain bids, however tiring or trifling. And remember, the fate of Limson and Mitsa hangs in a balance. In the balance of doing chores around the beach. <laughs> I mean, I'm fine with that. I'm okay with, you know, adventuring and questing around a beach area, because this place is really nice. And we even got a level up. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. We don't get anything new for the level up. Uh, let's see. Our new abilities. What do we get new abilities for? Traits. We got our next trait at 32. Third win. Increase cure potency for second win to six, uh, 650. Ooh, nice. So that's going to be a lot of self heals for us. That should be very awesome. And next ability will be Fist of Wind, increase movement speed. I am totally down for that, honestly. I'm completely down for movement speed. I mean, defensive is nice, but to be able to switch between like Fist of Wind and Fist of Earth will be amazing. It means we can, you know, take reduced damage and we can just do other stuff around. So this is actually a really fun place right here. I gotta show you guys, this place is... I mean, I know it's dark and everything, it's gonna look a hell of a lot better when it's light time. But this place is absolutely tropical and very nice, and she even got the entire attire perfect for beach-like attire, actually. Hello there, Light of the Land, or Xyntheria Phyrex. Very nice attire for this. <laughs> very fitting attire, actually. The sun hat, the skirt, the sandals. This place actually looks real nice. I like the bungalows and the boats. I wish you could actually go out in a boat somewhere, but apparently you can't. This place, though, is very nice, especially during daylight. Imagine this in daylight, and it's absolutely awesome. You've got palm trees and coconuts and stuff. I don't know, I just like the beach areas and beach zones. They look nice. Let's go talk to Wastekid. Okay, so what is the first task we gotta do? 
Master Gegaruju, uh, requests can be more demanding than you realize. Before set to your true task, I would like to verify that you won't be a waste of my time. And Nyx has recently been seen prowling the beach to the east. As you can imagine, my master does not want large slimy creatures anywhere near his lands. The beast is cunning, but you should have no difficulty luring it out with Harry. Slay the Nyx and return to me. Oh, and don't forget to bring me a leg to prove the kill. Alright, we'll slay Nyx for you, buddy. Also, let's go over here and see what other side quests we can grab. I think there's gonna be a couple we can do. Kuzai, Taza, I don't think this guy's got anything for me. That's for the... I believe that's for if we need to do some dailies for the seals. Actually, how many seals do I have at the moment? Does it say? No, it's not gonna say here. What about here? Reputation? No. Do I not have any seals? I... Oh wait, no, I do have seals. I have flame seal. I have a thousand flame seals. I don't know if I can grab anything with that, but I guess I'll find it. Hey, there's Gary Juju right here. Wow, look at this. Look at this setup that he has. He is sitting right here, like a sultan, out there staring at the beach. He has one assistant cat girl here on his left, and another girl just kind of fanning him over on the right. And she's like, I'm just getting paid a lot to do this. It's okay. <laughs> he is living life here. <laughs> I can say I'm a slightly bit jealous. Anyway, let's see what Master Gegaruju has for us personally. Oh, where are they? Has something something less than delightful or more than awful be found the new dancing girls we are to arrive today? This is most inconvenient. I do so wish that someone would find the drive uh, the driver who was to bring my divine dancuses. Dance yeah, Dansu says. Uh, that someone would be healthy rewarded for it, I shouldn't doubt. Ahem. <clears throat> Okay, so he just wants us to find his dancers. Easy. As long as we don't have to be one of the dancers. <laughs> hey, we're adventure. We're not, we're not, we are good at fighting, you know, at ta we're good at dancing the battle. We're not good at dancing the dance, so to speak. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Whatever, let me go over here. Leaves of course of the soul. I'm not going to do those. I just want to kind of do some side quests. Let's uh, head over here and see where the dancers are. There's a carriage driver. Let's see what he is up to. What's up? What's wrong, buddy? You okay? You right? These Donovor, uh, the the governor sent you, did he? I was afraid he wasn't going to wait no more. D don't get, don't be giving me the sack now. Uh, Tame my fault, I swear. I brought the girls just like I was supposed to, and we got as far as here before they caught sight of the ocean. And that's the moment they started crying like curls and hop hopping like spriggans. As soon as I stopped the wagon, they were off and running to the beach. Now I yelled at the ladies to get back in the carriage so we could get where we are supposed to, but they didn't pay me no mind. You'd go to talk some sense to them, won't you? Working stuff, uh, working stuff, the, bo uh, the both of us. You understand. You'll help me out? So, looks like the lasses have decided to, uh, admire the beach. <laughs> they meet us on the beach, they're like, oh my god, the beach! <laughs> Alright, let's pull them back to the land, I guess. Let's see if we can retrieve them. Hopefully they're okay and haven't really harmed themselves. We got a leggy dancer over here. Hello there. Hi. Hello there. You enjoy the view? It's very lovely. I know. You got the the ocean. You got the boat. You got just the you know the the miles and miles of blue all over the place. It's very lovely. And you look very lovely yourself here, actually. Let me go ahead and do this. Excuse me. Who are you? Not the boss of me. That's right. This is my first time on the beach, and nobody's gonna tell me how long I can, I can and can have. Got it? All right, can't really, can't really do anything for you. So, <laughs> enjoy the beach. Plus, we gotta be here. Burly dancer, hello there. Freaking Amazonian woman right here. <laughs> Hi there, girl. What's up? You enjoying the beach? I just feel so blessed to be here. This is so beautiful and inspiring, don't you think? I'm feeling so many things. I just need to drink it in. I just need to drink it all. Drink it all in and channel it into my art. Sure, I guess. You know, I guess she's an artist. I guess dancing is an art of a sort. Let's see, we got a hearty dance over here. Hello. We got literally be uh, all races coming up. Oh, dances of all races here. Oh, honey, I've never seen anything like this. It's all dunes where I come from. From you know, I'm sure Master Gegger Ruju wouldn't mind a bit if it stretched out legs before coming to see him. I'm uh, sure. Yeah, I mean, if you live in the sands all the time, the beach would be very lovely to see. What is this girl doing here? Un Gainty Dancer? Girl, what are you, what are you, what are you doing over there? <laughs> you probably should leave it alone. Uh, sh shells right fancy and pricey back home. Bet you guilt to Gobu poop that I can't sell a beauty like this to Master Gego Ruju. Need to find a way to get it to him, though. Uh, we go wait while I find me a wagon or, su or some such. 
Guess she's trying to drag this entire shelf with her? Good luck. <laughs> Seriously, if you can lift that and go for it, girl. <laughs> if you can sell to something, I mean, it's a big shell. If you can make a profit of it, go for it. I say, <laughs> I say have fun with it. If you want to share some profit with me, you're more than welcome to, but you don't have to. It would be, you know, nice if you could, but I can offer you protection. I can pr protect the card of big shell that you have there. <laughs> All right, let's go into this place. This place is real nice. Look at that. Hold on, hold on. I got a, I got a perfect locale right here that I want to go to. It'll just get a nice opening right over here because I just realized the sunrise is happening. And right now in New York's in time, it's 5.16 a.m. Okay, look at this. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this. There we go. And now it's going to just do this. And we got a beautiful sunrise just in front of us right there. See, this place is nice, especially if you catch it on the right time. This, is, this looks absolutely gorgeous. And look, I know I'm nerding out over a locale in a video game, but somebody worked really hard to make sure this, you know, the sunrise and the clouds will look so pink and everything. And somebody worked really hard to make sure the time was a huge, de uh, was a big deal in game and the time actually affected the rest of the world. And I'm going to be just one of those people that will appreciate what is going on here. And I greatly do appreciate everything the artists of Final Fantasy XIV have done to this game. It is a gorgeous, beautiful game, and I absolutely love it, which is why I support it so much. I just wish I had more time to play it, because seriously, if I didn't, if I wasn't going to college, I would gladly play this game, like, all the time, just stream it all the time. Okay, what have we got here? We got a flattened a flatten herring. Let's go ahead and get the, uh, use a herring to lure out the Nyx. Alright, let's just hide over here and see if we can look for the Nyx there. Let's be very careful. Where are you at, Nyx? Come on, we got a herring for you. You know you want it. Hello there, inflated Nyx. Jesus Christ, this thing is... giant. <laughs> God, I love how the enemies actually look directly at your character. It's actually really cool. The, like, the whole eye tracking and head tracking thing is really awesome. Oh, back away. Okay, going in. Put up a dot in it. There we go. If only we could stun it, I could like stun it and like hit it on the side or something. Do a little bit more damage for a short period of time. And I think we might have gotten it. Yep, there we go. Beautiful. Alright, cool. Let's ride out Chocobo and run back over. Uh, I think first I'll see the manager of the place. You know, the person that owns this place. Before I see uh, Wastegate. Because honestly, Wastegate just has a at first, I didn't realize that was his name. I just knew he was a pirate guy over in this area. Oh, look at the sunrise! Oh my god, this is so cool! Guys, we're seeing something that usually you don't see often unless you log on at a perfect time. We're seeing a beautiful sunrise, and somebody's crafting here as well. Actually, I kind of want to back up over here. This is, a this is a nice little view. We got a micro girl hanging out with two loud fells. We got somebody crafting over there. A beautiful, you know, um... Uh, construction of the bungalows and a sunrise happening right over here. This is not something you will get to hear or really experience in game all the time. You gotta log on on perfect times whenever something like this is happening in your server, but I'm so glad we got to experience it now right here together. Anyway, let's get... Oh wait, no, I don't talk to Wesket just yet. Let's go talk to him later. Cancel. I, w I said I was gonna talk to the manager first before I talk to Wesket. Let's go and ride over the broom with us. I absolutely love the broom. I'm glad that I was able to do the event for this thing. Looking forward to like all the other events coming up in the future as well. That's gonna be really fun. Hello, Gary Juju. Overcome by the ocean, are they? Se uh, seduced by the sand? Want me waiting? Me, who paid so dearly to see the unparalleled undulations? Well, how delightful. They're true artis artists, as beautiful inside as they are out. Gudani is green, Ulda is golden, but only Costa del Sol is blue and white. Yes, I should have thought of it earlier and given them leave to, uh, to play upon the beach. Ah, so happy it is to be a wealthy man. I shall wait because, well, because I can. I am no drudge quaking at the sound of the master's step, nor am I a knuckle biter who needs to bottle of, who needs a bottle of brand wine to keep the tremors at bay. I shall enjoy the anticipation and the fulfillment alike. Well, very, very proper of him actually. Let's talk to you here, uh, Pebalo. Welcome, madam. Do you require assistance? Uh, what do you do here? Yeah, that's a good question. I'm Mitsu, Master Gurjuju, Lord of Costa de Sol. 
Master Gear Jujo is of course second to none in matters of business and connoisseurship. However, he cannot be uh, he cannot be something almost innocent in other matters. Or he can be something almost innocent. It falls to us, his old staff, to support our master in these mundane areas so that he might focus more fully on his passion of amassing wealth. Uh, what kind of place is this? Costa de Sol is, is a shining is a as a shining jewel in otherwise drab and unremarkable lands of La Nocea. The area originally cre uh, cleared for farmland was soon abandoned after it was discovered that seawater had seeped into the water table. That was when Master Gerujuju, a wealthy Uden entrepreneur, cast an appraising eye upon the shoreline. Oh yeah, Uden is like full of nobles and rich people, so it's no surprise why he'll want to use this area for like a resort like this. Rather than remain in a refuge flooded streets of the native city, Master Gear Juju made a sizable contribution to the Admiral to secure the rights to build a new estate in his, in his scenic environs. It is, I believe, a testament to my master's business acumen that he chose to rename the new developed uh, sec uh, section of Bloodshore, a most uninviting appellation, to the more palpable Costa de Sol. Actually, it does sound a lot better. Let's talk to the... Can we talk to her? No, we can't. She's like, I'm just doing my job fighting the guy. Can't really talk to him anymore, so I guess we'll just leave him alone. So that's kind of like some history. Oh, look at that. Now, this looks a hell of a lot better. In the daylight, look at this. The ocean is as blue as a blue gets. So you can see right through it and everything. It is. Ah, oh, it is so nice being here. I'm not even kidding you. I know I'm fanboying over this too much and everything, but you know what? I'm just enjoying the hell out of this. This is so nice. You can see the ocean. Oh my god, I absolutely love it. Actually, it reminds me of the one time I traveled to Ukraine. Uh, we stayed over near the Black Sea you know, with my family, and you could actually see, I believe you could actually see, like, the water was almost as clear as this. It was really nice, even though it was called the Black Sea. It was really nice and clear. It was either that or Turkey. Back when I was a little, we, my family ended up doing a lot of traveling and stuff. It wasn't exactly the most enjoyable thing ever, but I can definitely appreciate it now. And now that I've seen this, it's like, oh, it's so nice, it's tropical. Oh god, the people that worked in this are, you know, gave them a huge accommodation. Final Fantasy, our team is amazing in creating these beautiful biomes that look absolutely amazing. Even got some kind of structure in the back here, it's so cool, I love it. Anyway, waste kit. Well, did you deal with the Nyx? Yes, we did. Here you go, here's the leg. Uh, lest, you th lest you think me overly cautious for testing you in this way, you should know that we had indecent, uh, an incident not long ago. A foolish young employee was dismissed for lying about his past. He claimed to have sever uh, served in the company of heroes, but I knew for a fact he did not. Oh, that guy! That's who got kicked out. Anyway, now that the pointless busy work is finished, I should give you a challenge as befit your talents. Alright, sounds good. What is thy challenge, sir? Two highly distinguished individuals are scheduled to visit Costa de Sol in the near future as Master Gary Juju wishes to welcome them with an elaborate banquet. But while money is no object, not everything Master Gary Juju desires can be so easily purchased. It is to be an extremely exotic feast. And so, Elliot, you must mission your mission is to seek out and obtain the rare ingredients our chief requires. It will be a long and arduous journey, but you need not toil alone. Many of the mercenaries who once served under my command still live, and they will guide you in your quest. For the first ingredient, I would have you travel to the South Shroud and speak to uh, Landonel at Camp Tranquil. What? Do you mean not tell me you cannot afford to waste time as your associate did? Adventurer, if you have not the interest to complete this mission, how do you expect me to believe that you can outlast Lord of Crags? Either do it or don't. I have work to do. Uh, well, it looks like we have to do a lot of chores in order to actually get anything completed, which, I mean, kind of sucks, but at the same time, it's just meh, I can't, we can't exactly complain about it. We could, but it's gonna give us no purpose, and gonna give us nothing worth, you know, worth to complain over, so there's not much we can do about it. Let's go talk to the Merchant of Mender first and sell some things. Let's see, sell this, sell this, and sell this, I've made some decent money. Let's see, armor-wise, can we get some battle gear by, by any chance? Let's see, what what are we missing here that we could actually own? Head is, well, maybe head might be nice to have. Steel, salad, ooh, that actually would be very nice. we we'll see. What what, should, what would we need, if anything? Okay, good. Sorry, my mask got stuck. Uh, let's see, maybe some legs? Let's see if they got any legs. Totskin Bray? Uh, Bray's? Bray? Totskin Bray? Actually, sounds pretty good. Has really good stats as well, that'd be awesome. Maybe some trousers, what, that's, that's all the trousers. Belt. Uh, Voyager belt. Oh, that'd be actually really nice. 
All this stuff looks like it might be an upgrade. This is, might be something for us worth investing over, actually. You know what? That's a good idea. Let's go ahead and invest into the things that are needed. So, a helmet. We need a new helmet. Good. Let's see, jacket is good. Gloves are good. Belt. We need a new belt. Totsuki Moji belt. That would be perfect. And then we need new pants. Totsuki Bray. There we go. And then the new boots. Totsuki leg guards. Be perfect. And he can't really, she can't really sell us anything else, so can't do much. Thank you so much. God, I see so many my coats everywhere in Final Fantasy XIV. Like, everywhere. Left and right. I mean, it's lovely. I absolutely love it. No complaints there. <laughs> I just, you know, I just want this thing to kind of notice. Let me move the gloves over here. The beard gonna go here. There we go. The reindeer. There we go. Go here. Beautiful. Uh, new belt. The new pantalones. And the new boots. There we go. Move like this. Perfect. And sync up. Sweet. Now we got new gear, new stats, new clothing mostly. Uh, helmet that I still don't really want to <laughs> show to anybody because we just look a hell of a lot better without the helmet. Alright. Looks like uh, we could probably end it right here at the nice little resort. Although, where do I gotta go to? Maybe I can get like a little closer to the area. South Shroud. I've not been to South Shroud before. We could technically travel to Quarry Mill and just travel there. Yeah, we could probably just fast travel to Quarry Mill real quick, and then just kind of end it right there at the Quarry Mill. But yeah, guys, anyway, pretty much the episode is pretty much over. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, we'll come back next week to continue further and see if we can slay the beasts that are necessary for the feast in order to gain access to what the Titan is. Yes, I know it sounds like a lot of tedious chores to do, but some things are just going to be, you know, necessary for us to do because it's kind of, you know, it's either to build character or to make sure that we are trained enough and ready enough to fight any other battles that we're gonna get in the future. Anyway, I still nevertheless hope you enjoyed the episode. My name is Stamriel. Hello there. How's it going? Hi. Hi, I'm just trying to sign out here. Hello. I'm gonna wave to you, be polite. There we go. I accidentally click sprint button. <laughs> they just ran up to me, and gave me a weird stare. Alright, thanks. Appreciate it. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. My name is Stamriel. Like, subscribe, and as always, have a great day, and make sure to come back next week for more Final Fantasy XIV goodness. See ya.